Hi, here I'm Dr. Zell and topic is benign prostatic hyperplasia. Formerly, it was called the benign prostatic hypertrophy and also called the prostatic enlargement. A very common condition of elderly men and it is a major cause of urine flow obstruction. Benign prostatic hyperplasia is a non-cancerous enlargement of prostate gland. Prostate is a walnut size accessory gland. We call it gland because it secretes the alkaline fluid which is enriched in zinc so contributes in alkalinity of semen. Prostate gland is located in between bladder and penis and in front of rectum. Traditionally, the prostate is divided into four anatomical lobes. However, more important clinically is the histological division of prostate into three zones that are central zone, transitional zone, and peripheral zone. Central zone usually comprises of anterior fibromuscular zone that is devoid of glandular components. The transitional zone that is located centrally and surrounds the urethra. The peripheral zone is felt anteriorly during a digital rectal examination. The peripheral zone is mainly palpated and prone to carcinoma. BPF is usually caused by hyperplasia of the glands from the transitional zone of the prostate. Normally the prostate gland measures in adults that is epi 3 cm, craniocardially 4 cm and transversely that is 4 cm. And normally average volume of prostate is about 20 to 25 ml. The most popular measurement method or calculation based on the dimensions of the prostate measured on the two mutually perpendicular sections that are the transverse section and longitudinal section. While taking the volume measurements, the measurement of height, width and length of the prostate may be performed both during transabdominal and transrectal ultrasonography. The result of uh, measurements performed during the transrectal examination are burdened with similar errors. In this ultrasonographic image, here you can see the biplane method of marrying the volume of prostate through transabdominal ultrasonography. Here you can see the protruding prostate into the urinary bladder. In this ultrasonography, here you can see the biplane method of marrying the volume of prostate through transrectal examination. Ultrasonography is the standard first line of investigation. There is an increase in the volume of prostate with calculated volume exceeding 30 ml. And post micturation residual volume is typically elevated. The enlarged prostate may compress urethra, resulting in symptoms that refer to impaired storage of urine, likely urinary frequency, urinary urgency, and nocturia. And the symptoms that refer to impaired wiring are likely such as difficulty in initiating micturation, poor stream, intermittent urine stream, and terminal dribbling of urine. Complications of untreated benign prostatic hyperplasia may result into urinary retention, bladder calculi, bladder diverticulas, recurrent UTI as due to stresses of urine, 
hadronephrosis and hadro ureter and eventually renal failure. Despite of so much debates, it remains unclear if benign prostatic hyperplasia is a risk factor for prostatic cancer. Please subscribe my channel for more videos and updates.